Each airplane has its own unique starting procedure. The procedure itself can vary depending on whether the engine is cold, hot, or flooded, or whether external power is used. It's extremely important to use the checklist for your airplane as well as the one for the appropriate conditions. Before you start the engine, adjust your seat for comfort and visibility. Make sure the seat is locked into position and will not slip. Then, fasten your seatbelt and shoulder harness. If you're carrying passengers, be sure to brief them on how to fasten their seat belts and shoulder harnesses and how to latch and unlatch the cabin doors. For safety, test the brakes by pressing on the top of the rudder pedals with your toes, then reset the parking brake. To avoid possible damage to the avionics, make sure the avionics power switch is turned off then visually check and slide your fingers across the circuit breakers to make sure they are in and set. As an added precaution, verify that all electrical equipment, including the autopilot, is turned off. You should now check the fuel selector, ensuring it is in the both position. In warm temperatures, one or two strokes of the primer should be sufficient. In cold weather, up to six strokes of the primer may be necessary. Moving back to the throttle quadrant, place the carburetor heat lever to the cold position and open the throttle one-eighth of an inch. Now set the mixture control to rich. Visually clear the area in the vicinity of the airplane. Make sure you look behind the airplane to ensure that debris from the prop wash will not endanger people or vehicles on the ramp. Then open the window and call out clear. Where? and look and listen for a response. Turn on the master switch. Then engage the starter by turning the ignition magneto switch to the start position. When the engine fires, release the starter switch and advance the throttle to the appropriate setting. Check the oil pressure gauge to assure that it registers adequately. If the pressure does not register within 30 seconds to a minute, shut down the engine and determine the cause. During your training, you will learn the importance of the pre-flight inspection and how it enhances flying safety. As you get ready to taxi for takeoff, you'll know that the extra time you spent covering all of the items on the checklist will help you to make sure your airplane is ready to fly.